What is going on guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video of Adam Finance. My name is Adam, obviously, I am your host. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Lean Six Sigma and why I think that you should pursue a, a certificate in one of those belts. So, if this is a topic that interests you guys, stay tuned, because we're gonna be talking about that. First of all, what is Lean Six Sigma? And if you guys wanna pause the video, I'm gonna put up a definition right here. Basically, what Lean Six Sigma is, is you're trying to improve a process to remove all the additional waste that you have. That's to put it in a very concise form, and like I said, the definition will be above my head right here, so you guys can pause it, read it, Google it, whatever you guys want to do. Basically, with Lean Six Sigma, there are four degrees of belts. They call them belts, I'm not 100% sure why, but there's a yellow belt, green belt, black belt, and then a master black belt. I'll put an image right here about the different uh, towers and what they mean, like towers meaning the belts, and then I'll put a picture right here, explaining the different salaries that these uh, Lean Six Sigma belt certified employees and people get uh, from these job opportunities. So I recently made a, another video explaining why you guys should be joining clubs, have a good GPA. You don't need a good GPA, but you should have clubs, internships, or just some kind of project to back that up. I think having a Lean Six Sigma belt and certificate will show that you have what it takes to pursue something else and a specialty. If you have none, none of the other topics, such as internships, high GPA, or projects, then having that Lean Six Sigma yellow belt is gonna it make you stand out from someone else. But if you have none, I don't know what to tell you guys. Having the Lean Six Sigma yellow belt will open up a few different opportunities for jobs. It's not gonna just open up uh, an, um, a huge amount, but it's gonna offer you a chance to leverage your salary a little bit more. Like I showed you in the beginning of this video, People who have a yellow belt get paid more than people who do not have a yellow belt or have no belts. On my resume, I have updated this so that it shows that now I'm a certified yellow belt uh, student and I now have the ability to practice some of those Six Sigma uh, topics that were covered in that class. For a class that cost me $100 to get certified in Lean Six Sigma yellow belt, I was like, okay, that is 100% worth it because of how much value I'm gonna be adding to my next salary, how much that is gonna help me get a different position that I want. It shows them uh, more certified in data analytics, process improvement, and just overall quality control. My mind is always thinking ahead. I'm not just thinking about, okay, next week I have a test, tomorrow I have homework due. I'm thinking about the future. What is summer 2022 gonna bring, summer 2023? I have to be thinking about, okay, where am I going to be in those positions? Am I going to be somewhere that is going to bring more value? Am I losing value? Am I going into a different company to work up to that dream job that I'm going to? And I think that this having this belt, plus my internships, plus my GPA, plus clubs, I think all of that is leaning towards the goal of going to my dream company. Thinking from a monetary perspective, $100, yes, $100 is not cheap. But if that $100 is going to bring you a salary of like, more than five plus thousand dollars above what you would get without having it, I think that's worth it. You're gonna be getting that increased salary, it's gonna show people that you're dedicated and that you wanna keep learning and furthering your knowledge in the topic. Obviously, yellow belt, green belt, black belt, master black belt, that's not for everyone. I'm not saying it is. I'll probably get a green belt and I'll call it good there. Um, I'm just saying that if you wanna stand out, want your resume to look good, and you wanna show that you're dedicated to the topic and you'll be dedicated to the company and process improvement, I think that having a yellow belt at the minimum is a very good tool to have in the back pocket. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below what you guys want to know about the videos and what other topics, and I'll be happy to answer those for you. So if you guys enjoyed it, drop a comment, thumbs up, make sure to subscribe too, keeps me motivated. With that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.